Welcome back, Mahula fans, to another episode of Scrap Mechanic, where that we bring you a tutorial on how to build the second version of the folding door. In the previous episode, you saw us build, saw me build, this specific door. Now, I said that we would make it where that with this door, we would make it flush so that uh, this would be flushed to the door over here and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Doing that then would probably bring in the door one square over. So we'll have to deal with that. Now, I have to make some measurements. I have to make some measurements. So what we need to do here is it needs to come out to... So bring it in one, we bring it in two. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, if you saw the previous video, all we have to do here is change the first, change the second half and make it, give it another part. Let me get, let me think about this. So let's build this in parts. Let's go ahead and build this in parts and I'll show you what I'm thinking about. So this is your first part of the door, okay, I'm going to build it out of wood so that you can see the difference. Actually, I'm going to build out a different different material so you can see the difference and how flush it stays. So from here, you put a bearing here, then we're going to make this metal. They're going to put another bearing here, and then let's make this out of this material, okay. I forgot how far... What did I say, two? One, two. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it this way. So you're gonna build this door like so. Okay. And then the third part is going to be like this, actually. Let's do another material. Let's do... I never really worked with tile before, so let's work with tile today. And then build out... Oops. Build out the door. Build out the door like so. The problem is trying to keep it all in one piece. And I think that's it. Now your door will be in this many parts. Yes. Okay. So let's do this. Now how many? We have a couple more. We actually have one more hinge. So we have hinge one. Or sorry, bearing. I call it hinges because they act like hinges. Bearing one, bearing two, three, and four. Where the that's going to still come out 180. And we're gonna, I'm gonna have you program it where it's gonna look nice and, uh, nice and fancy. Let's make it look nice and fancy, well, shall we? Did I do two? I don't remember now. I don't know if this is gonna work. Ha ha. Oh, it, okay, it kept it there, so. What we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing. Two and three. Three. Yeah, same thing. Same thing as before. Negative 90. Positive 90. And then... Negative 90, positive 90. And then four will be a positive 90. Okay, remember all this like that. And then this will be a 180. Okay, so hinge one, 180, hinge two, hinge, hinge, bearing. Negative 90, then 180, 90, and 90. Where that the positives will mean that it's uh, the bearing is folded already into the position we want. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. So let's try that. I think this will work. 
Look at how beautiful our door is. Okay, so it's... Okay, so we have to be over one. Ha ha! We have to be over one more. Alright. We have to be over one more. So, the measurements are going to be... They're going to need to be exact. I haven't done it myself, as you can tell. Haha. Ha. But then this also is a learning process, right? For everybody. I haven't pre-measured any of this stuff. And this is how you're pro. If you're not used to it, and I'm not used to measuring stuff when it comes to complicated things like this, you're going to do the same thing. So let's do that. And let's try to make this a little bit quicker. Okay, delete that, delete that, delete that. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring you in one. Wow, okay. Bring you in one. Uh, wow, well, we're gonna need wood. Maybe. Tile. Okay. So, let's do this out of different colors like that and yeah, this one oops okay. yeah we're gonna need to bring I'm gonna need to bring it out one more one more Chuckabo's awake. Yeah, that's what we want. And then, uh, what other material do we have? Concrete looks like metal. I don't like that. It's almost the same color as metal. There is our beautiful door. Isn't it beautiful? All the different parts. Okay. So, same thing. 2 is negative 90. Then 180. 90. And 90. Right? Uh, we don't need that. Right? Look at that beautiful door and its multicolored parts. It is the UN of doors. The UN of doors. And we are folded. Uh, well, can never get it right. But anyway, it's about the measurement because. The problem here is I could have done that. I could have done that in. Okay, yeah, let me stop bouncing. I could have done this where that I could have ended up here, folded here, and then made this one shorter, but then that would mean the door would be short. Right? So the funny thing is that when you have a complicated door like this, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to make sure that your doorway itself is uh, is not predetermined. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to I'm gonna build this. the way it's supposed to be and you'll see how the doorway is oops not yet not just yet
Uh, floor is 90. Okay, now, if you see this, the door is nice and flush. The door is nice and flush now. Where that's one complete block folded in. Now, if we close it, it's going to be one short. Yeah, see that? So, depending on how you want your door, if you want your door to be this style, you can't have your um, you can't have your door or doorway be a predetermined size. The door, it's, the style of door itself is going to is going to determine that. Um, so, if you don't mind on doing that. Oops, that's not metal. Eh, it's still not metal. Ha 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 ha. It looks almost, it's, it's, it's the same color. It's the same color. You see that now? It's a nice, let me get rid of concrete. It is now a nice flush wall. And if it was all metal, it would be nice and unseen. But the only problem here is that, yeah, with this style of door, it's going to need to be, um, the size is going to be predetermined by the, um, the door itself. Well, thank you for watching and, uh, watching my mistakes, but then you know what? This is also a learning process for me. I am not an engineer. I do what I can I do what I can think of and show you what I think of that you guys might not. So hopefully you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Because that's my job is to disseminate information. Okay, I need to do something about that. That's gonna bother me if I ever see it again. I am that, I am like that. There you go. Now it's going to be completely flush and full. So hopefully you enjoyed everything. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me play around with my little engineering projects and uh, try to be a, a mechanical engineer, which I am not. I am not at all. Uh, if you like the videos and like the information, please uh, hit the like button and uh, show your support. It only takes a split second of your time. costs you nothing at all. Uh, go ahead and please subscribe for a lifetime uh, on our channel. I promise you we'll give you something either entertaining or informational. And, uh, you know, tell your friends. Share the video. As always, Mahula PSA, if you see an independent YouTuber's video on a non-YouTube website, please show your love directly by going to that YouTuber's channel on the actual YouTube.com website. And as always, Keep thirsty, stay frosty, uh, stay hungry like a zombie, and as always, don't take any risks out there in the real world that we would take for you in the virtual world so that you don't have to. Uh, be safe out there, friends.